It's 11 totally random trivia questions on a What's the Theme episode written by listener Luke McKay. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out my show. If you like trivia, if you like pop culture, if you like movies, music, television, video games, comic books, you are in the right place. And this show comes out every single day and there's over 500 episodes to check out. So it's perfect for binging on your next road trip, on your next plane ride, on your next getaway of any kind. Now, this show is very listener-driven, and today's episode is no different because it was written by Luke McKay, one of our Patreon subscribers over at patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Luke always contributes content to the show and always comes up with some great questions, probably since the beginning of the daily version of the show, a little over a year ago. So thank you, Luke, for these questions. Uh, What's the theme works like this. If you have not listened to it on the show before, uh, there's 10 totally random questions. You write down all the answers, you look at them, and you have to try and figure out what they all have in common. So Luke sent this one to me. I'm going to kind of play along with this one. Uh, So I'm going to try and answer the questions and you can kind of play along with me. I'm sure I'll know some of them and will not know some of them. And uh, the same thing can be said for you. So uh, do with this episode what you will. But uh, I'm going to write them down and try and figure out the theme. And then I have the answers on another piece of paper right behind them that I can check and read to you guys afterwards. So That's what we'll be doing today. This show's a little different every day. Sometimes it's me asking questions. Sometimes it's me figuring out questions like this one from Luke. Sometimes uh, I have a guest on, like my friend Jim O'Hare, who played Jerry on Parks and Rec. If you ever want to listen to that episode, just search Jim O'Hare Trivia with Buds, and you can uh, listen to some fun sitcom and Johnny Cash trivia way back on like the sixth episode of the show ever almost three years ago. Um, I've had some other cool guests on. I've had some musicians, some comedians, some actors, some actresses, and uh, there's always somebody that uh, could pop up at any time. So uh, be on the lookout for those kinds of episodes. Some other episodes might be recorded live. So um, I put one out this past weekend that was um, a thing I do called Trivia Bingo, where I ask a bunch of trivia questions and I have bingo cards with the answers printed on them. And you have to kind of hunt and peck for the answers to the questions and try and get five answers in a row. And uh, I'll record all the audio from that and you guys can listen to it. So uh, there's a bunch of different varieties of how this show works. And uh, I'm so glad you decided to check it out today. Hit subscribe on your device so you never miss a new episode daily. And if you love the show, leave us an iTunes review. That would be so, so cool of you. Go over to iTunes and uh, put a five star on there and tell us what you like about the show. We have some new reviews. We have some new listeners. I want to shout out to my new friend who messaged me on... Instagram. Her name is M Chesser 12, M Chesser 12, and she said awesome show. It's a family affair with me and my girls. So M Chesser uh, 12 is Melissa, Melissa Chesser from Georgia. She said uh, she listens with her family. So thank you so much, Melissa. I'm glad you guys get a kick out of the show and maybe you can figure out today's theme while I'm trying to figure out today's theme. If you want to support the show, if you're like, you know what, I listen to this every day and it's some fun entertainment for me and I like playing along with it and I want to throw a few bucks towards the quality of the show and the production of the show, you can go to patreon.com slash trivia with buds like Luke does. Luke throws us money every single month to help make the show bigger and better every day and he sends all this great content and I'm always looking for content. So if you want to send me some content anytime, uh, that would be awesome. And if you want to throw some money anytime, that would be awesome. So go to patreon.com com slash trivia with buds. I want to talk real quick about the new rewards that are going to go up tomorrow, Tuesday, the, what is it? 15th, 16th, Tuesday, the 16th, you will be able to, um, sign up for new rewards. And some of them are the same. Some of them are improved. Some of them are different, but here are all the new rewards for $1 a month. You get a thank you in every show notes in the, to every episode, you'll see your name in the show notes. Sometimes I read those names out loud on specific episodes. So you'll get one of those every single month. You will get access to our Discord chat room, which is where I post random trivia rounds from years past or different puzzles or pictures or videos of things that I'm up to in the world of pop culture. And uh, you can interact with other fans of trivia and this show that's over on Discord. You get the link to go in there and join us. And you're going to get a brand new digital newsletter every single month. 
Uh, when I send out the rewards, you're going to get a newsletter that has uh, some fun stuff I'm up to and um, kind of like a summary of all the episodes from the past month, if you missed any, and you're going to get uh, some puzzles and things like that. So that'll be a digital newsletter that you can go to on my website, print out and uh, do some puzzles and things like that. Uh, for the $3 level, you're going to get different kinds of prints. So um, right now, the $3 level is like a postcard club, but that'll kind of open up and you might get a sticker, you might get a postcard, you might get um, some kind of, uh, I don't know, artwork that I find that I think is cool. Um, also, you'll get a printed version of the newsletter that I just mentioned. So I'll mail that up to you and you can actually just write directly on it if you want to do the puzzles and things that are uh, located in that newsletter. For $5, you're still going to get to pick a topic every single month. You get to pick one topic that I am bound to get to at some point. Uh, it used to be I would guarantee that I got it in 30 days, but now there's so many, uh, I have to kind of put them on backlog from time to time. But you guys, the listeners, sometimes help with that Patreon spreadsheet and write the questions for certain topics for me. Um, so very, very cool stuff. And for $5, you get to pick a topic and kind of shape the show how you want it to be. For $7, we're doing a new pin club. I have the ability to make customized pins and we'll have a different theme every month and I'll send a pin to everybody that is in the $7 tier. For $10, you can plug anything you want on the show monthly, anything you want me to give a plug to, a shout out to. Um, you can get our thousands of listeners ears involved in whatever you're into. Maybe you have a new album out or a new book, or you just want to uh, say happy birthday to a friend. You can make your plug whatever you want for 10 bucks. For 12 dollars a month. There's a $12 tier. You can get a bonus video episode, which will be an additional episode that's only available to the people at that tier. And it will be me asking questions of some type and kind of directing them around some th certain theme. That'll be the bonus video episode monthly for 12 bucks for $15. This one's very fun. I think I would love to get something like this in the mail. It's the DVD club. So I came into a <laughs> yard sales worth of DVDs from a lady in Laverne, California, no San Dimas, California. And I bought like 450 DVDs off this lady. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a DVD every single month. So a movie you can watch on your DVD player. And there will be a five question quiz attached to the cover of the movie uh, on the movie. So if I sent you the Sandlot, you'd have five questions on the Sandlot. So it kind of gives you some homework. It gives you the ability to watch the movie and then answer some trivia questions on it. I thought that would be kind of fun and interactive and interesting. So that's our DVD club for $15. At $20, you can be a guest on the show. That's a brand new feature. You can be a guaranteed guest on the show in the audio format um, or video. If you want to do some sort of video thing on Facebook or something or Skype, um, you can be on the show and uh, it could be any topic you want or it could be your $5 uh, topic since you also would get that pick, uh, whatever you want to do, but you get to be a guest on the show at the $20 level. If you want to donate $20 or more and you don't want to be on the show, that's totally fine too, but uh, that will be the $20 level. At $30, we have an apparel club, which it was uh, formerly known as the t-shirt club, but now it's the apparel club. So you can get shirts, socks, hats, whatever I kind of find for that month, you will get one of those. Um, so if you want to join that at that level, you will get um, some sort of apparel. And for $50, this one stays the same. It's all my trivia rounds for the month in slide form. So I'll send you a link to download a zip file of every uh, trivia question I asked for the month at all my live events. You can use those for your own live events. You can use them to play along with, or you could use them to uh, have a party, have people over and have your own trivia party. So lots of cool stuff available over on patreon.com slash trivia with buds. Thanks for listening to this winded intro. And hopefully there's something in that, in those tiers that kind of jumps out at you and you're like, Hey, yeah, I'll throw a buck. I'll throw three bucks. I'll throw seven bucks, whatever you're into and whatever you want to support. That would be super, super appreciated. Okay, guys, it's time for me to try and figure out 11 trivia questions on what's the theme from Luke McKay. Here we go. All right, everybody, here are the questions that Luke sent me to try and figure out. This is called, What's the Theme? And here's question number one. If you lived in the Mushroom Kingdom, by what name would you call a ghost? Number one, if you lived in the Mushroom Kingdom, by what name would you call a ghost? Okay, so I'm going to give you a pause there to kind of figure it out for yourself, and I'm going to kind of talk through my answers here. If you live in the Mushroom Kingdom, by what name would you call a ghost? I've played a lot of Mario games, uh, a lot of Mushroom Kingdom exploring, and I think the answer there is a boo. So that's my intended answer, boo. Number two, Freud theorist, the 
uh, theorized the human psyche is structured into three parts the id the super ego and the blank Ooh, i remember this but i definitely don't know the answer number two freud theorized the human psyche is structured into three parts the id the super ego and uh <laughs> i'm gonna say the uh mm, disposition that's definitely not right but that's my guess for now Question number two was about Freud. Here comes number three. In the John Wick franchise, what was the name of John Wick's wife? Ooh, that's a tough question. What was the name of John Wick's wife in the John Wick franchise? If you've seen those movies, if you remember, uh, you're very smart because I have seen the first one and a half movies. I watched uh, half of the second one, but I never saw the second half of the second one or the third one. And I don't know how many times they say the wife's name. I'm going to say Naomi which is definitely not right. Number four, a 2005 film starring Jennifer Lawrence as a self-made millionaire. 2015 film starring Jennifer Lawrence as a self-made millionaire. Hmm, think about that one. Number four, number four. Um, on this one, I think it's called Joy. I think it's where she invents something. Uh, I remember, I think she has sunglasses on the cover. Um... I don't know. That's just a guess. Joy, number four. Number five, the star of Bullet, The Great Escape, and one of the Magnificent Seven. Bullet, The Great Escape, and Magnificent Seven. Um, I guess that's got to be John Wayne. I don't know a lot of John Wayne movies. I've never really seen one. I don't think I've ever seen any John Wayne movies. Uh, Number five, the star of Bullet, The Great Escape, and the Magnificent Seven. My guess there, I guess, is John Wayne. Number six, what iconic actor played Jor El in Superman 1978? I do happen to know that one, I believe. Num- well, who's Jor El? Is that the dad or is that Superman's real name? Oh, that's what I don't know. Uh, again, not a super Superman guy, but um, Jor El. Is Jor El Superman himself or is Jor El the dad? Mm, that's a tough one. Number six, what iconic actor played Jor El in Superman? I'm going to put down my two guesses, which are Christopher Reeves obviously, and uh, Marlon Brando. So it's one of those, I would say, guaranteed. Number seven, what unit of measurement is equivalent to approximately 5.88 trillion miles or 9.5 trillion kilometers? What unit of measurement is equivalent to approximately 5.88 trillion miles or 9.5 trillion kilometers? Hmm, what unit of measurement um, that's a lot of miles, trillions of miles. It's not like the distance from the sun to the earth, because that's not a trillion miles, right? I have no idea what the unit of measurement would be. Uh, a galaxy? I guess I'll say galaxy, maybe. We'll see. Number eight in the Seinfeld episode, the maid, George, wants uh, people to call him T-Bone. What undesired nickname does he receive instead? Uh, T-Bone and... Um, uh, with something monkey related, right? Uh, I've seen this episode a million times. T Bone and uh, uh, what the heck? I just we were just joking about this in Chattanooga. My brothers and I we were calling each other T Bone. I call my son Tommy T Bone nonstop. Uh, man, what is that nickname? Coco? Is it Coco? I think it's Coco. Something monkey related. That's my guess. Coco. Number nine, what was the name of the Warner sister in Animaniacs? I definitely know that one. I'll give you guys a second to think about it. Number nine, what was the name of the Warner sister in Animaniacs? My guess there, and correct answer has got to be Dot. And the Warner sister Dot. That would be the answer. Number ten, a Nicktoon featuring characters named Skeeter, Valentine, and Patty Mayonnaise. Give you a second on that one. I definitely know that one. Number ten, a Nicktoon featuring characters such as Skeeter, Valentine, and uh, Patty Mayonnaise. The answer there would be Doug. Okay, so I've got Boo, Disposition, Naomi, Joy, John Wayne, Christopher Reeves, or Marlon Brando, Galaxy, Coco, Dot, Doug. Uh, And most of those are probably wrong. But I definitely know that Dot and Doug and Boo are correct. And Joy. Dot, Doug, Boo, Joy. Dot, Doug, Boo, Joy. Um, are these, my guess on this, 
Oh, I think I got it. Okay, so based on those four that I definitely have, Boo is a character in Monsters, Inc. Joy is a character in Inside Out. Dot is a character in... I don't know. Maybe this is not good. (gasps) Wait, Coco, that'd be a Pixar movie. And Doug is the dog in Up. So these have to be Pixar characters. Of the ones I got right, uh, I would say they're Pixar characters. So that's my guess. Uh, We'll see what your guess was. Um, You could yell it out loud right now if you want in your car or wherever you're listening. And we'll be right back in just a second with the actual answers and the actual answer to the theme for this round. Great job, Luke. Great questions. We are back with the What's the Theme answers. I tried to play along with the uh, first half of this episode. Hopefully you did too. Now we got the actual answers to the questions from Luke McKay. Question number one, if you lived in the Mushroom Kingdom, by what name would you call a ghost? That would be Boo. The answer is Boo. So I did get that one correct. Question number two on your list was Freud theorized the human psyche is structured in three parts, the ID, the super ego, and the... Uh, ego. And what's funny is I almost said that out loud. I almost said ego because I'm like, well, it says super ego. Maybe there's an ego. But then I actually didn't say that. And uh, that was the correct answer. So I missed that one. But we got boo and ego. Number three in the John Wick franchise, what was the name of John Wick's wife? Her name is Helen. Helen. So I missed that one. Helen. Uh, Question number four. Uh, 2005 movie starring Jennifer Lawrence as a self-made millionaire was Joy. So I did get that one correct. Sweet Joy. Number five, the star of Bullet, The Great Escape, and The Magnificent Seven. Of course, it's not John Wayne. Now that I've seen the name, I definitely have seen it a million times. Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen is uh, in all those movies. That was number five. Number six, who played Jor L? Marlon Brando. Okay, so I was right half on that one. I don't know why. Isn't Jor L very similar to Superman's name? Isn't it uh, Jor L or something like that? Or am I totally off on that? I don't know why I'm thinking about it. Uh, Marlon Brando. Number seven, what unit of measurement is. Uh, equivalent to approximately 5.88 trillion miles or 9.5 trillion kilometers, a light year. Okay, so I was kind of on the right track. Galaxy was not correct, but it was a light year. Good job, Luke. Number eight was uh, the Seinfeld episode in The Maid. George wants people to call him T-Bone. Instead, they call him Coco. So I did get that one right, Coco. And then number nine, uh, let's see what we had. What was the name of the Warner sister? That was Dot, of course, Dot from Animaniacs. Then we had um, number 10, a Nick Toon featuring uh, characters like Skeeter Valentine and Patty Mayonnaise. That was Duck. And the theme was they were all Pixar characters. So nice. I was able to figure out the theme. Uh, that would be two points. And then I got one for Doug, three, one for Dot, four, one for Marlon Brando ish, five, one for Joy, six, and uh, Boo. Seven, eight. So I got eight out of 12, which is kind of my forte. I think last time Ashley and I tried to figure out a what's the theme, it was also eight out of 12. But uh, Boo is in Monsters, Inc. Coco's in Coco, obviously. Helen is uh, the mom's name. Helen Parr in The Incredibles. Joy is from Inside Out. Steve McQueen, Lightning McQueen was the, the connection there with cars. Marlon Brando, Marlon the dad, the fish in Finding Nemo. A Lightyear, Buzz Lightyear from Toy Story. Dot is the ant in Bugs Life. Um, Ego, Anton Ego is in Ratatouille. And uh, number 10 was Doug. Doug is the dog in Up. And again, they're all Pixar characters. Great job, Luke. Really fun quiz. And I hope you guys had fun playing along with Luke's quiz. It is time for the trivia team name of the day. And shout out to my new friend, David Prate, who sent me a uh, email. And he said, hey, I've been listening to the show. I dig it. And I love the team name of the day thing. I came up with a whole list. So he sent me like, I want to say 30 or 40 different team names. So I'll be using some uh, great recommendations for team names from David Prate. Thank you, David. Today's team name of the day is Quiz Quistofferson. Quiz Quistofferson, which I would think I would have seen over the years hosting trivia, but have never seen before. Quiz, Quistofferson, and that's from David Prate. Uh, thanks for listening, David. Use that trivia team name next time you need a good one. Uh, it's also time for the question of the day. Question of the day is brought to you by Funky Monkey Designs of San Dimas, California. Check them out at fmdesignsinc.com. And if you need something printed, they do amazing work. They just gave me two awesome t-shirts with their logo on them. Their logo is this great monkey uh, carrying a flag of San Dimas and Funky Monkey. And uh, they're really, really cool shirts. So I have two shirts to give away at my live events this week around San Dimas. And they uh, gave me a, a really cool um, 
printed on growler. So it's like a custom growler. You can fill up beer in it and it's very nice and tight and thermal and all that stuff. And uh, it has their logo on it. So thank you, Funky Monkey Designs. And check them out, guys. If you need something printed, they can send it to you wherever. Or if you're local to California, uh, go check them out in San Dimas, California. Question of the day is, what year did the box office bomb the Super Mario Brothers movie come out? What year was the Super Mario Brothers movie released? That was kind of based on that first Mushroom Kingdom question of this episode. What year did Mario Brothers, the movie, come out? All right, guys, that is it for today's episode. If you, Oh, by the way, if you have the answer to that question, tweet it to me at RyanBuds or email RyanBuds at gmail.com. Thanks for listening to this show. Thanks for going and checking out all the rewards tomorrow on patreon.com slash trivia with buds. And uh, thank you for telling a friend about the show. It means the world to me that you listen. And I'm so glad you uh, do every single day. Thanks for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you tomorrow for more trivia with buds. Cheers. 